What's up, Two Day Crew? We are joined again here by the snake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking he's gonna pick me up. So I'm gonna get ready. By Mark, the one and only. Yeah, not yeah. A yeah. Mark. Not a snake, no. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another mock test for you guys. Same old rules, the same old scenario. So I'm literally just gonna hand it straight a bit to different. Mark. A bit different. Okay, a bit different. Because What's up? You're in the driver's seat of your own car. Oh, you? yes, of course. And this is also your area. Yeah. It yeah. last time it was my area, <laughs> isn't it? Today's your All area. the bits I wanted to leave out. <laughs> All right, yeah, go yeah. on. So you're in, you're in your own car. Obviously, it's comfortable. You know how to control everything. I hope so. Also, we're in your area, like where you're used to doing tests and driving around, doing lessons and stuff. So we're in Isleworth, Isleworth, Isleworth Test yeah. Centre. We're just going to start here from the Tesco's, which people do use to do the bay parking. Mm -hmm. At Isleworth. Yeah, and then shortly we'll do a test in my car as well with me driving in Isleworth. It's going to be really strange because it's going to be a different area for me. So I'm looking forward to that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. and that'll be quite easy because we'll be all with the sat nav. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling though? Because obviously. Oh, mate, I just want to you... make sure I pass this one. So <laughs> whew, in my car this time, I've got no excuses. Yeah. And it's my area. So obviously all this stuff is totally true. So what's the score so, right now? The score. Not that anyone's keeping the score, but what's the score? <laughs> well, we both failed the first one. Mm. I failed the second one. Mm. You passed the second one. Mm. So, so two, one. 2 1, yeah, <laughs> to Mark. So let's, let's see what the score's going to be after today's finish. Fingers yeah. crossed. I'm raring to go. All right, so the test is going to last approximately 38 to 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. We're going to be driving on various roads. Mm -hmm. and all towns are like to follow the road ahead, unless signs tell you otherwise. Cool. Do so about 20 minutes worth of independent driving. Also, do one reverse maneuver. All right. Okay. Yep. So, so everything that you. Test, yeah. I'm sure. I will just ask him if I can. I will help you. Okay. Okay. Any cool. questions? Uh, no. Um, show me. Tell me. Question. No. Should we start with that? Like uh, they do on the test, or we want to leave those? We can do a show me in a bit. All right. Okay. Cool. If you want, I uh, could do a tell me one as well. Yeah. Tell me how you would know that uh, if there's a problem with your ABS. A warning light would appear on the dashboard. It'd be an amber warning light with ABS inside of a circle. Thanks very much. When you're ready, drive on towards the right there, please. Cool. To the right. Yes, please. All right, lovely. She chose the hardest way for me to get out of the car park. But that's all right. <laughs> we got this. So we're under test conditions now, Scott. Yeah, be serious, yeah? Oh, God, yeah. It's going to be deadly serious this time because that can actually lead me into being distracted sometimes. Turning left here, please. Just follow inside the exit. Thank you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Let's get a little bit of room. Roundabout. And take the first Just in case. What I've noticed a lot about supermarket car parks is like the lanes or the aisles, as I've heard the examiners call them, they're not very wide. On the roundabouts? Or no, like parks. when you're entering into these little side roads oh, and yeah. these little lanes and the bends, right, it's all quite then narrow. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, then bear right. Another good tip about car parks is just be super cautious because people just come out of nowhere. So lean and look and be prepared to stop just in case. Yeah, I nearly got into a little crash on my way here just now. Actually, All right. car park, yeah. yeah, see? Um, it's a weird situation, car parks, but they're not like the road. Right. Then Left on the roundabout. How do I put this on silent? Exit. Can I not? You want to put it on silent? Yeah, so I can tell you which way to go. Yeah, sure, you've just done it. Oh, cool. So it's on silent now, or is it? it is on silent, yeah. This is Twickenham Stadium, for anybody that's wondering. Oh, the rugby stadium, yeah? Yeah, the home of rugby. Okay. Did you ever go there? I haven't, no. They've just modernised it, um, made it huge. You see all this bit on the outside? Mm. That's all new. Ah, uh, don't come this side. There's, there's a road that leads towards Chiswick Roundabout. That yes. Way, right? uh, that's mm -hmm. Okay, I know that kind of right. A 316, I think it is. Right. We're approaching it now. So your sat nav's tricking you again. Which one? This it's one? The speed. Oh, Both the speed? Oh, yeah. So this one's correct at the moment. Oh, your one's correct. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it can be incorrect, though. So, like you said, you just keep looking for signs. You're going straight at the lines, please. Oh, 
How's temperature? You alright? Not too cold? Perfect, yeah. Cool. Gotta try and keep these cameras cool, otherwise they overheat, and then my life as a YouTuber is over. No, I think it's already <laughs> I'm over. I'm just thinking about um, on the last mock test when yeah. in my car, how hot it was. Oh, mate, you were cooking <laughs> me. It was like fairly, su well, it was a warm day, Yeah. and you had the heating on. I forgot it was on. Sorry. <laughs> or is that, or did I, I, or did I <laughs> man. I think, yeah, I think it was a, uh, what's it, distraction. Tactic, yeah, yeah a tactic. Tactic. comfortable. That's a sick car over there, that little TVR. Nice. So cool. So old school. It reminds you of the old school Gran Turismo, remember those games? Yeah, man. Really cool. Okay, the next round of our going left first exit, please. New one's coming out soon. I think I might get it. Oh. Uh, okay, mirror, mirror, signal. Most realistic, uh, like a car simulator. They're yeah, not calling it a racing nah, game, after, nah. they call it a car simulator, driving simulator. If I had the money, mm -hmm. I'd get one of those bucket seats. Have you seen them on hydraulics as well? And they only move around. And they move, the yeah. whole system moves, mm. and the screens and everything. So you can't feel the G force. Man, it'd be so cool. Because that's what professional Formula One drivers do. Have you seen them? They have the e simulated Formula Ones mm. and they practice loads. Yeah, for the, learning the tracks and yeah. all of that stuff. They've really got like CGI cool. versions of the track and stuff, haven't they? Yeah, it's very expensive equipment, so yeah. It's an expensive sport, so. Man, but can you imagine if you crashed one of those cars, how expensive it would be then? So really, they're saving millions, probably. Oh, by doing the practice yeah. in, the, in, the, in the simulator. Yeah, back in the day, they never had all that. They just go out and crash. The real thing. <laughs> yeah. What is this guy doing? Come on. And his wheels turned a little. I thought he was going to try and change lanes. I need to remember where your pedal is in case you make a mistake, Scott. Yeah, just in case. Just in it's case I need to jaw break you. Do you want to know a little secret? <laughs> Before we made the decision to swap cars, mm. I turned everything off. So you're going to have a home? <laughs> I turned okay. everything off. I uh, thought this, this guy, man, this guy <laughs> is going to think he's going to come in here and rely on this technology. Mm -mm. Off. Okay, okay, okay. I, 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 understand, now, I understand the levels now. All right. It's all switched back on. <laughs> For yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, makes sense. Alright, I understand now. Next round of going straight second, next thing, please. Cool. It's really important to look out for road markings at all roundabouts so that you know which lane you need to use to go where you've been asked to go. Worst case scenario, you find yourself in, say, a left only lane then follow the road markings and you'll still pass your driving test. Very, very important. I get asked that question a lot. It's super important. I mean, people want everything in a nutshell. So when it comes to doing a driving test, a lot of people get super nervous and they think that they have to do everything the examiner or the sat nav has asked them to do. When in fact that could be dangerous if we're in a left like only. Safety versus yeah, right. safety is more important than direction. We're gonna turn left first exit in the next round of outcomes. Thank you. It's weird, you know what you're saying about how you turned everything off technology wise in your car. Mm -hmm. But to me, I probably would have preferred that, you know. You would have been alright, I know you would have but my car's like basic basics. See the Apart little the hill assist and you know, power steering but it doesn't, it doesn't have like displaying your, your speed, it doesn't have the digital speedometer beeping every two seconds and when I go a tiny bit over 20. You see the next car you get? Yeah. It will. Well, I'll, I'll turn it off. <laughs> that's fine. Um, and you know the bit you talked about the beeping over 20? Mm. That's the main reason why I switched it all off. Uh, because let's be honest, how hard is it to keep at 20 miles an hour? In your own car, I don't think it's that hard. But I suppose in a different car, I think it will be pretty hard. You've got to be Can you very, go over on the left aware. in a safe place, please? Sure. Uh, sorry, I didn't realise there's a road there. Just carry on for now. We'll find some more roads to pull over, yeah? Cool. Sounds like me when we were in Barnet. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, where the f***? <laughs> it wasn't okay. for a considerable duration. <laughs> Just leads me back to that point though before it's so Jesus. How can I help you? I'm not talking to you. Um, Change your name to Jesus, because 
But you said Jesus uh, opened up something. How, how can I help you? It's, 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 my, it's my car. I'm driving Jesus, baby. <laughs> Scott, when it's safe, could you show me how you open and uh, close your window, please? Uh, I can't, actually. Because of the aircon? No. Because there's a camera attached to it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So even, even this window? Your window I can do. Yeah, you could do Is that all right? Yeah, yeah? You can do cool. Window, all right, I'll do that. Thank you very much. Having to watch the speedometer and watch the parked cars and watch the oncoming traffic and watch the vehicles coming out the side road and look at that bicycle and that pedestrian and look at the speedometer. Oh my God, man. Is that a lot of work? It's more dangerous. What do you reckon they should do then? Well, if the speed limit was what it was before, hey. people could do 25 and not have to worry about being you know, over the speed limit and focus on the road. But those people that were, when it was 30, there were people that would be doing 35 there, though. Well, then I get a speeding <laughs> ticket. <laughs> there's always going to be a guy that will, want it, that will go faster than the, than the limit, no matter what limit you put there. Uh, yeah, uh, I just don't understand. Personally, I've seen roads where sections of it are wider, uh, with really big pavements like this, mm -hmm. or even fencing kind of segregating the pedestrians. So the roundabout, let's turn left, please. And they're 20. And then there's a very narrow road with like very tiny pavements, and that's 30. And it's the same road, it's just different sections of the road. So, could you explain the logic in that for me, please? No, I can't. <laughs> I just can't, that doesn't make Sometimes sense. Sometimes near schools? Yeah, but it's not even that, there's no school there. It's in this area, in fact. It's very quiet around here, though. Yeah, it's worse than a nice place. Would you say it's quite easy to do a test down there? I wouldn't say it's easy. Mm. Um, there are huge dual carriageway roundabouts. There are dual carriageways for speed changes back to roads like this. So you've got to be very vigilant with speed. You've got to be very vigilant with your big dual carriageway roundabouts, controlled and uncontrolled, and orthodox and unorthodox. So roundabout, let's turn right, please. If you're all right with all of that stuff, then yeah, eyes are worse, not too bad. If you get one of the more residential routes, it's really nice, quite scenic and calm. It's good. I thought I was going to get you there. But you're Mate. not a learner, are you? I'm not a learner, not no. a learner. <laughs> I see him, don't worry. I've got good peripheral vision. Good. That's what driving instructors have, don't they? Peripheral. And examiners. Yeah. I think we have that peripheral vision. Uh, which are learners are learning, right? That's one of the big parts about learning to drive is peripheral vision, picking up on people at the sides, you know, that might step out into the road. So it's important. Important skill. I think it's one of the last skills they develop, along with awareness and planning. Okay. Awareness and planning, I think, is quite sort of one of the last bits. So really getting them to look really far ahead mm. and see multiple is that why a lot of them break late? Yes. Right. Yeah. Pull over on the left, please. I'm trying not to get too close to that van, okay? Mm hmm Thank you. And then drive on when you're ready. You know, it's so weird driving away with Mark next to me because I'm like, is there something there or isn't there? What am I thinking? There's nothing there. Go. Can I adjust? Oh, I'll let you deal with this first. Sure. You Can I adjust this without breaking it? Yeah, yeah. Move, move just be, yeah, just okay. move around. Just want to make sure I can see everything. Mm, definitely. Sorry, a bit bumpy. Yeah, okay. One man and his dog, I think, is one of the... That was a lady and her dog. Mm. Um, but I think it's one big hazard. Did you ever see oh that, where the dog goes God. out? The man steps out. No, it's just like the other day I was on a lesson. Yeah, I'm quite calm on the lessons. Yeah, mm -hmm. but one of my learners was driving. I went, "Oh my God, no!" I shouted. Do you know what happened? They Looking in the mirror, the no, a dog ran oh. off from the from the owner. Oh, and the lorry was in the road. The lorry was just like this. It nearly killed the dog. This close. Obviously, I was in shock. I shouted. I shouldn't have. 
Yeah, well, apologize to my learner for scaring yeah, him because he's thinking he's done something wrong. But it's oh, just, of course, it's me yeah. seeing that dog because he can't see. He's looking forward. Yeah, you know, I, you're saying about awareness. Yeah, so I'm, I'm yeah, seeing yeah, yeah, around yeah. and I'm seeing the dog running into the road, like playing around. Turn left, Jake. Um. So what did the student do? No, we were already ahead of it, so he just kind of like carried on driving. But you can see in his face, he looked shocked. Okay. But um. Yeah, I was thinking sorry, they might slam on the brake. On the right hand side, please. Not on the pavement though, yeah? Just uh -huh. along, along, the, along the curve there, please. So this is the pulling over and stopping on the right manoeuvre, and I've been told that I don't need to worry about the driveways. Not on this occasion, no. Cool. Okay, so when you're ready, Scott, can you reverse back two car lengths, please, keeping reasonably close to the pavement? Okie dokie. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> They didn't help me that much last time, though. Shut up. Didn't, didn't, fuck, didn't help you, did it? No, it didn't, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned to Mark's YouTube channel. Please go and check Mark's YouTube channel out. Driving instruct... No, sorry. Driving test driving tips. Test tips. Yeah. Driving test tips, where you'll see what Mark's talking about when he posts my video. It's already posted, mate. Is it? Yeah. No, the first one. The second one. The second one? Yeah, check it, oh, check it in, days. Star. I tagged you in it. I saw you tag me on something, but it didn't come out with a picture. It was no. blank. Are you sure? Yeah, I checked it last night. Oh, you sent it to me yesterday. Be a video in there. Oh snap! Okay. Oh, like a, like a no, I'm screen, watching later. Screen recording of. Uh, oh yeah. sweet! All right, cool, nice. Yeah, it's All right. Up, mate. Thank you very much. All right, back. Go check that out. Driving test tips. All right, now I'm going to do my reverse back, roughly two car lengths. With this camera, why I was making such a big deal out of it, this line is super straight with the curb. So I don't even need to do anything with the steering. I can see it's all lined up, the same distance all the way down. If I do change the steering, then the lines will change. And then I'll see that there's a huge gap. I'm going to go out into the middle of the road. Or if I change it the other way, I'm going to go over the driveway and towards the house. All right. So I didn't realize I was that far. I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to keep it. You can adjust it before you actually start moving and it tells you where you're going to go. Yes. So it's like seeing into the future. Fancy. Yeah, man. You've got a time machine, basically. Uh, sorry? You've got a time machine. In your time, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, this is the spaceship, man. This will fucking <laughs> speed you across light years. Back to the future stuff, yeah. Oh, I wish, yeah. One day, hey? Who knows? Right, okay. Um, there's a pedestrian here. Now, I think it's quite important because I've seen pedestrians walk behind the vehicle, even with re reverse lights on the car moving. They walk in and behind the car. So I'm going to wait until he's far enough away that I will definitely not have that as a risk. And just doing plenty of observations before I move, and then roughly every car length for every couple of meters, just checking again. Now, with this ambulance coming, I've done about one car length. I'm just going to stop and wait. I'm going to let the ambulance or the oncoming vehicle pass. I'm going to recheck over my shoulders, both blind spots, and just check the camera briefly, just to make sure that everything's still lined up. Take my second car length and just stop us here and wait instructions. Drive on to you when you're ready. Okay. Back into drive. All round observations from pedestrians. The most dangerous traffic. Uh, the most dangerous side. I can't see anything in that mirror because it's still adjusted down to the ground. So I'm going to use the other blind spot mirror. I just couldn't really see properly there. So I'm just double checking, making sure it's always worth double checking. That's called a double blind spot check. Have you heard about that double blind spot check? No. All right, just must be me. Um, yeah, so just checking, you know, checking all around. You know, usually the learners take a few seconds to get going after doing that. Mm. So just a quick right blind spot check. I teach that anyway, but I didn't know, yeah. I didn't know the name to it. Yeah, double blind spot. Okay. Because it is essential, really. It is, yeah. It is essential, yeah. It's helped me lots. Yeah. I've caught cyclists and other vehicles yeah. um, just seconds before moving away. At the end of the road, turn left, please. Cool. Oh, my baby. Sorry, I was ignoring you earlier. You did. You called out to me and I just ignored you for a second there. But it's all right. It's okay. We'll be fine. See, this, you develop this kind of relationship with your car as well. Do you, do you talk to your car, Mark? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll let that one go, yeah. <laughs> <Just let that. laughs> Okay, triple checking. Now there's no vehicles coming from the right. Making my way out. That little kid is disturbing me. She's changed the direction of her scooter. So I'm off. 
Oh, thank God for 30 mile an hour roads. I love you. <laughs> thank you. Right. Yeah, kids by those crossing is a bit stressful. Yeah, know? it's like, what do you do? You just have to wait. Yeah. So you got to tell your, I told my kids anyway, don't wait, don't go, go to the crossing until I'm there. Yeah, don't even get anywhere near it. You yeah. stay next to me, you don't go that far. Drivers, responsible drivers, would, should wait when they see a kid, a kid waiting there. Yeah, and sometimes Let's kids the get, next right, please. They get brave as well, so... You know, one day they, they go and stop there. Who knows? One day they might be a bit brave and go out without waiting for daddy. You know, I just, I don't personally want to ever take that risk. That's just me. Maybe I'm overprotective, I don't know. No, you can't be overprotective with your kids. Right. Pull over on the left in a safe place, please. Mira, mira. Signal. Uh, mm, it's not really enough for him. Even here is fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Don't worry about that. Drive away. Drive for now. I didn't realize it was a... Cool. Right Thanks very much. No problema. And then drive on to you when you're ready. All right. Now, there is a van on coming. So before I even start doing the observations, which we talked about earlier, I'm literally just going to wait for this van. So experienced drivers usually just check a couple of mirrors here just to see if there's traffic coming. I can see the van, so I didn't even bother doing my observations until it passed. Signal right, all-round observations. Check that double blind spot as we move off. And then we're out. Nice, good uh, gap there from the take car. The next left, please. Next. Okay, good. Um, that's also part of the test, but it. <sighs> this is the bad thing about this car. Way too low. low. Way too low. Way too low. Um, yeah, the examiners will stop you about that distance from a car at some point on the test and then ask you to move away. Pull over on the left, please. Cool. All right, reference points are pulling up, so make sure you know how far away you are from the curb and you don't get too close. So I set a reference point, which is a little toy which is hiding at the moment. Sorry, just so I can move that, switch the engine off, yeah, so I'm not touching it. Yeah. Right, um, and that's my reference point there. I'll just put that back. Is that all right? Yeah, so shortly, Scott, I'd like you to carry out an emergency stop exercise, okay? Cool. So I would like you to drive along as normal. Yeah. When I say the word stop, you're going to stop if there's an emergency occurring. All right. Okay. When you're ready, please. Okay. Again, just using my mirrors just to kind of see what's going on. And then all round observations, right signal. Make sure you've got your gear. A lot of people feel silly when they're in park and then they try to move off. So get all that <laughs> preparation in place. Stop. Thank you. I won't ask you to do that again. When you're ready, drive on, please. Okay. Obviously, I'm still in drive. I don't need to put my handbrake on. So I haven't. I'm holding the foot brake firmly and just checking. There is a man walking behind the car, so I'm just going to check again and then make my move. There's some builders here where there's a van, there's a man. He did just step out, but I don't know where he's gone now. There he is, he's sitting down. Turn left, please. Okay. The oh, other sorry. The other left. Yeah. Thank you. That's a bit strange. But the road is closed. Ah, oh, right. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, there's not really any traffic coming from a road that's closed. Pull up on the left, please. Don't worry about the yellow line on this occasion or the driveway. It's fine. Okay. I'll try to just give a little gap from the driveway. Thanks very much. Cool. Okay. We're going to start the independent driving now, okay? Right. So I'd like you to follow the, the sat nav. Okay, this one? This one there, please. Cool, the big one. Uh, how do you put it on the volume? The volume, so just tap the screen and you'll see the volume button. Oh, this one here. just back, hang on. Tap it again. Uh, try not to tap the air conditioning, oh, okay. just the screen. And then you'll see the volume in the middle. And there you go. Yeah, so where it says that um, it's not on, it's on. If that makes sense. So like that? Yeah. It's on now? Yeah. Okay, so when you really I just think. follow the... <laughs> We'll find when you, out. When soon. you're ready, you start following the, the sat nav, please. All right. Um, this one finished? Yes, this one's finished. All right. I'll take that one out. Yeah, I'll just fold it down. Yeah. Right, so okay. I don't get confused. Sure. When you're ready, please. Cool. Otherwise, I'll be looking at that because that just happened there. Do you mm. see what I was going to I was going to turn right in there. I know. Yeah. <laughs> all right, okay, because I saw that, I was going to go there. Right, okay, anyways, all round observations in drive, double blind spot check, and we're off. And I'm on independent drive, so. Let's see if the sound is on. Maybe not. 
Should I pull up on the yellow line and then we can tap it again? Oh, you can keep driving, I'll, ta I'll tap it. Alright. Yeah, maybe I was wrong. It says, look, it has been deactivated. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Strange. Uh, so I think maybe... We'll drive down this road and we'll see if it talks to us. If it doesn't, just tap that button again and it should start talking to us. This sat-nav gives direction like miles before the turn, so it should That's the start. thing, sometimes when you start a sat-nav, it doesn't say anything. But when you, make, when you make a few turns, then it starts um, telling you which way to go. Were you trying to peep at my sheet? No, I'm looking at the oh, traffic oh, light, okay. just waiting until the traffic changes. That's good. Oh, one of them died. Strange. Okay, I'm not too sure if the sat nav's actually going to talk to us. Yeah. So we'll see now. Yeah. Are you okay with it now for when it's quiet though? Yeah, I mean, I but can now. just visually follow it. Um, it's nice to have the audio because you usually have the audio on the test, but yeah. it's alright, I can deal with that, it's not a problem. So for your learners, would you say to them as well, actually look at the sat nav, not just rely on the, vo on the voice? I don't, personally. I. I do point out a lot of the visual aids that the sat-nav gives, mm. um, but I don't ever give them a recommendation to look at it. Right, you say to them more so to them, listen to rather than looking at it. Yeah, um, because I think that's the official guidelines, isn't it, really? Because I think the, the audio is less of a distraction than the visual. I don't know. I don't really know for sure. Have you heard any official... No stuff about whether you need to watch I, it. I actually, actually look at it every now and again because it shows you well ahead where yeah. to turn. It also shows you what lane you need to be in as well. Yeah. Especially if you aren't familiar with the area. Yeah. It will show you what lane you need to be in advance. You know so. that you don't see that on this sat nav. Do you not? Does it no, not show you the lane? Oh, no. Oh. So that could be um, a challenge to overcome on the test. If I've been using a different sat nav. Yeah. Okay. So... I didn't know that. That might be worth mentioning, yeah, because Waze, as an example, is a sat-nav, and it's mm. extremely useful because it shows you what lane to be in. Mm. This one, however... I can never trust Waze, though. It shows you some really? weird route. I know. <laughs> really? It feels like, should I really be going this way? Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. But then I think it does actually work. It does. <laughs> trust it, man. I've not trusted it a few times mm. at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, thinking, nah, what the Another hell? Way, yeah. What? <laughs> ah, this way is the quickest way. And then there's a road accident, and the road's closed, and there's police everywhere. Uh, so watch it. It really helps. All right. So I'm still waiting for my show me question, Blair. You already should, I mean, oh yeah, yeah, oh my god, we did yeah, it. Yeah. I opened that window, that yeah. just felt weird. <laughs> I think the examiners get a bit annoyed when that happens to them when on test. The, when, when you open their window, window by accident. Nah, they can't yeah. get annoyed at that. Well, I don't know if it's Something raining. Something happens all the time. Yeah, it happens all the time. Because if you're a learner and you're trying to open the window, you're under, under, stress, under test conditions, you're going to be stressed out. You might open the wrong window, it's not a big deal. Yeah, that's a big point that a lot of learners ask about. What do I do about nerves? How do I overcome anxiety from my driving test? Eat a banana. Eat a banana. Before, te before your test. Okay, there you go. You heard it here first. <laughs> you, start, you think it's a joke, but it actually does help a lot of people. Cool. I used to recommend a chocolate bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. To relax, relax them a little bit. Yeah, well, one of my mates told me before, no, uh, before sorry, a test, like a real test, like a written test. Sorry, I think it was a written test as a real test. All tests are tests. Um, Eat chocolate still, bar still here, yeah? because it makes you feel like happier okay. and more relaxed. It releases yeah. endorphins. Yeah, it does. It releases endorphins. The happy endorphins. It's all science. Yeah, it is, literally. Um, and it's helpful. So that's one tip. Um, actually, I need that on. Um, that's one tip. Um, is that it, literally? Just eat a banana. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up and eat a banana. Here's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking banana. No, uh, listening to music quietly. Okay. Some examiners will allow that. Most examiners will allow it. What, so I got to put like drum and bass on quietly in the background? <laughs> yeah, a bit of drill. Uh... <laughs> Imagine. You're allowed. You are allowed. You can put what's on yeah. your mind. But 
I'm, I'm, I'm thinking if you put a drill on, I don't think the examiner will be that. I don't know. It depends who they are, isn't it? They might like drill. <laughs> mm, might do, yeah. You never know. Um, also, telling the examiner that you're nervous. Yeah, that that's helps. a big one. I, I recommend that, that as well, yeah. Just talk to them. Just yeah. look, say, hi, my name is so-and-so. Nice to meet you. I'm really nervous. It's my this first time so or whatever. Scary. This is a really weird junction here. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's just super weird. All three turning in one and they have to wait in the middle as well. Yeah. Normally when it's like oh, this. Oh, snap. By the way, mm. this this sat-nav is such a pain in the ass. Is it taking us a long way? Yeah. So you might want to just find somewhere um, and get me to pull over and we'll finish off. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's taken us a long, long, long way. So Very long way. As soon as you can get me off road and get me to pull up or whatever, sure. the better. All right. Let's turn left, please. Okay. Why does that keep making noises at me? All right, so yeah, this is a big uh, business Let's area. Hopefully, we'll be all right to just go in there quickly. Turn right in the roundabout. Thank you. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be all right here, yeah? Yeah, it's for a few minutes, isn't cool. it? Cool, yeah. I think it's a slight visitor, visitor section. We'll just go down the end. So we're going to finish it here, yeah? So that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, how do you feel that went then, uh, Mr. Scott? I feel it went a lot better than last time. Yeah. Um, I really only feel like I got one. I'm not endorsing this minor, okay, because mm -hmm. it's driver fault. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've got one minor driver fault, and that's it. If I've got any more than that, then I'll be a little bit surprised. If you failed me for being 23 miles an hour for like five seconds in a 20, then I'm walking out the car. Did you fail or pass? I passed, man. What? No, don't even go there. All right, come on. I'll, no, it's all right. I'll be quiet and just listen. Humbly listen. What does that say? It says pass. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. You had me, though. You... You had me. Ah, uh, you did get two faults though. Oh, two. For the same speed. thing. Yeah. yeah. So that time that you noticed. Yeah. Then another time. Yeah. What is that? It's water from somewhere. Oh. Yeah. Another time when um, we were just talking about the sat nav and it was like a twenty for a short section, then we turned into a thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you heard it, like, your car beat. Yeah. You heard it. Yeah, that was it. Okay. So yeah, two minus for speed. Yeah, so Isleworth is predominantly a 20 mile an hour area. So if you are doing your driving test at Isleworth, and there's lots of areas that are becoming a predominantly 20, yeah. this is a huge like thing. Green. Okay. Lots of uh, Lewisham, uh, sorry, Hiver Green. Hiver mm. Green is near Lewisham. That whole area is 20. A few roads around Hendon are turning 20 as well. There you go. So it's really even bit. Westminster, not that there's a driving test center, that whole of Westminster is a 20. So mm. this is this is why I stress about it and make it into a big deal because, yeah, it is a big deal. Well done. Thank so you very you much. Redeem yourself. You have passed. Woo! 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Uh, two, two now. I'm going to get him on the next one. Then they're going to even the score. Because <laughs> it's my turn. In no, the pressure. Uh, no pressure. No pressure. I'll be alright in my car, I think. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. see what um, everyone has to say. Right, so thanks for um, thanks for watching. That, I've been Scott. This has been oh, Mark. Thank you very much for having me. Again. Stay safe. Stay tuned. Yeah. Go check out Mark, the driving, driving, driving test, test tips. tips. On TikTok and on Instagram, so check those out.